I believed it was a tradition. See, my dad thought it was an idea. I insisted that he promised that we would get our Christmas tree each year on my birthday, December 18th. He grunted, shook his head, and walked away. So, on December 20th, rumbling around in a house without a tree, I confronted him. Now, being 60 years old of Pennsylvania Dutch descent, he did not appreciate being challenged by his chubby, impudent son. You go get your own tree, he bellowed. What he meant was that our family had a small piece of land outside of town where my father had planted some pine trees with the wild dream of nurturing a Christmas tree farm. Unfortunately, the only thing that grew were the trees. So, I grabbed a small hatchet, a rusty saw, and I bummed a ride from my older brother out to that farm. It had just snowed, was freezing and slippery, so I trudged through the underbrush to the grove of pines. I found one. It was big. Too big. I didn't care. That fur was coming down. I struck it with my hatchet. Nothing. I I gnawed on it with my saw. It barely creased the trunk. It took two hours of hacking, sawing, bullying, kicking, beating, and colorful language. Finally, the tree tumbled, battered, and wounded. The branches were bent, and it looked like it had been attacked by a pack of angry beavers. I drug it to the car, stuffed it in the trunk, further damaging the remaining evergreen dignity. Yes, alas, this was the beginning of sorrows. Trying to squeeze it into a stand, get it in the house, turn the brokenness away from public view nearly distorted my mind. My family laughed and cried. Once again, I didn't care. We had a tree. I over-decorated it, trying to disguise the abuse. After that year, a tree always appeared on my birthday, (laughs) without exception.